Ospreys, welcome to another campus update with Inside Swoop. I'm Katie Richmond, here to bring you up to date with what's going on this week. With National Art Day coming up on April 15th, this week's show is dedicated to all the ways that you can appreciate art here on campus and around Jacksonville. There are good resources online if you want to improve your ability as an artist. The YouTube channel Proco is good if you want to learn about the fundamentals of drawing the human body. The channel is run by Stan Prokopenko and has, he has series on drawing the human head, gesture drawing, figure drawing, and shading. He also features professional artists on many of his videos who give advice and tips on different aspects of art. He also has a website called Proco.com where you can view more art lessons and track your progress. At UNF, diversity thrives, not only in the classroom, but also in the amount of student clubs showcased through the claws around campus. Each distinctive claw etched on the sidewalks symbolizes a unique club that calls UNF home. With each club given the creative freedom to design and paint their claw, these colorful imprints form an engaging path from the arena parking garage behind the student union to Brooks College of Health. If you haven't walked this pathway yet, you're missing out on a fun and unforgettable experience that truly captures the spirit of UNF's inclusive community. If you're looking for a place to appreciate art on UNF campus, then look no further than the UNF Art Gallery. Established in 1981, this gallery stands as a beacon of creativity and education on campus. Nestled in Founders Hall, the gallery showcases a diverse array of student, faculty, and renowned artist works fostering cross-disciplinary dialogue and enriching the university experience. Don't miss out on this cultural gem located conveniently next to Peace Plaza. The Loomis head method is a commonly used method to draw human heads. Reporter Jennifer Gould will be teaching us how to draw one. Hey guys, in this video I'll be teaching y'all how to draw the Loomis head method, which is a way to draw the human head. First, you start with a circle, which represents the cranium. Then you draw an oval inside the circle, which is about two-thirds the height of the head. The width of the circle depends on how far the head is tilted. This is supposed to represent the side of the head. Next, you draw the axis line uh, that indicates whether the head is tilted up, down, or is completely straight. This one I'll do it tilted slightly, uh, slightly up. And then you draw a, a line indicating the middle of the face plane. A line for the middle of this oval. And a line from the bottom of this oval indicating where, marking where the bottom of the nose would be. Then you draw the line for the chin about the same height as the line, uh, the height between these two lines. Draw the line indicating that end of the face, the jaw, the chin, and then you draw the line from this point to this point to indicate the rhythm of the ear to the chin and the neck and that's basically the Loomis head method it's not completely proportionate but that's what all the steps are Jennifer Gould inside swoop if you enjoy pottery but prefer painting part over the actual sculpting, then doing dishes is the place for you. Choose from a wide selection of different sculptures to paint. Whatever your interests are, they've got you covered. 
Then choose whatever paint colors you want and let your creativity fly. With a week for your creation to be glazed and fired, you can then enjoy your masterpiece. They are normally open Tuesday through Sunday, but extend their hours to seven days a week during the summer and the month of December. Check out Doing Dishes at 5619 San Jose Boulevard. Skincare and beauty products can be expensive, so why not make your own? You're gonna need a cup of coconut oil, two cups of granulated sugar, 40 to 50 drops of essential oil, and your choice of a mason jar. Mix together coconut oil and sugar until you get a grainy paste texture. Then just add in the essential oils and put it into your mason jar. You can also add some food coloring if you want to have a little more fun. And voila, you have made a body scrub quick and easily from household items. Well, that's another edition of Inside Swoop. Tune in next time for more campus information. I'm Katie Richmond, and thanks for joining me on Inside Swoop.